And it's full of contradictions. There's this guy named Jason Lyle. He has yeah. a book that he wrote that where he goes through the different apparent contradictions and he refutes them. You should check out that book and what, and, what and book? Try, try to make sense of it. Um, I can't remember the specific who, who title, but, just, but his, notes, yeah, his uh, name is um, Jason Lyle. Jason Lyle? Okay. Yeah, and he's an astrophysicist. Jason. And yet he's he's a strong Christian believer who knows how to defend the faith. And look, look him up. Try to find his books. He has some good books. And yeah, I'll, I'm one gonna, of those books like, is I'll, I have an open mind. I'd like to go yeah. and just explore different things. That's perfectly fine. But like again, my stance is very firm to the factual side, and I understand that you think that it's, you know it's not real because I have a bunch of just. Uh, perceptions and stuff like that, but I'm still standing for myself. But you're, you're talking about the Bible contradicting itself, but yes. you're, you're contradicting yourself and making truth claims this entire time, while also acknowledging that you don't know everything and you and you could be wrong about everything. And you could and you could and you could be you could be deceived, you know, and and you don't have a basis for knowledge. And at the same time, you're making these truth claims about the nature of reality. I have to, you're, because you're putting your faith in your finite knowledge. I'm putting my faith in the infinite knowledge that was revealed to me in God's word, the Bible. Okay. Therefore, I have a foundation to stand on when looking at things and saying that's contradictory. But when you say that's contradictory, you're 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 assuming that assuming you're you're actually that you're actually perceiving reality when you can't you can't make that assumption based on your worldview. You know, so mm. so your worldview undermines itself. You you you're refuting yourself. You're contradicting yourself while you're saying that something's a contradiction. So contradictions are only like God. God thinks logically, you know. Like His thoughts don't He's contradict logical. themselves, right? Like we have logic. We have the sense of this can't contradict that because God created us with rational thought. Like that's mm -hmm. that's part of being made in the image of God is having rational thought where you can think th through things and assess them and see is this contradictory or is that or is that non-contradictory is that not contradictory like animals don't have that you know they just have like blind instincts but yeah. we're different animals aren't created in the image of god we are so we think with rationality and that reflects the mind that that created all of this He's the basis for rationality. He's the basis by which we can understand this is contradictory, that's not. I mean, I bought, like, me, I just, I mean, you don't really need a basis from, like, you don't need to believe in a, in a superior being to believe, like, to well, know you, that there is just common sense. No, you need, you need a worldview that makes sense of reality. You need to be justified in the thing you're putting your faith what in. Then what, what's the definition of reality itself? Reality? Well, I think I think you understand that it means what's act what's real. You know, what's, what's real? real? You know, like it, I mean, you describe so you describe actions is not real. Well, I'm saying they are real, but they're real in the world Only that God in created. Mind, but not like like I've said, like a hallucination is a, a reaction, is, is a different from it's a project chemical, chemical reaction from a, a fully conscious person. It's a perception of reality. That. It's a perception, and you say, "Okay, that's reality." When you're in the hallucination, or when you're in the dream, you think this is reality. But then you wake up and you realize you weren't in reality. So reality is what's actually happening, and then not reality is perceptions that tell you that something's happening when it's really not happening. I'm still firm on my side. So. Look up that book, man. Yeah, I got and it. Jason Lyle. I got it. In my yeah, I yeah, know. and and it's 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 very important because you could die today and go to hell. You know, it's I have to warn you about the wrath of God. He's going to punish you for your sin. Jesus Christ came to save people like you, and you know, He came to seek and save that which was lost. He came to die on a bloody cross to take the punishment that sinners like us deserve, and He rose from death. He ascended to heaven to be a, a mediator between us and God because we will never be good enough to, to be perfect 
to be at God's level, to live with Him in peace. We need the one who's perfect to represent us. And that's what Jesus does for those who trust in Him and repent. And that's what you need to do, man. Because you're in danger right now. You're in danger of eternal torment. 18 full years of just non-stop going to church. I've, I've had enough of that. Well, you're in danger, man. I got to warn you. Jesus said, don't fear those who can kill the body, but fear the one who can destroy both body and soul in hell. He, that's God, you know? Jesus commanded to fear God. God's word says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. You're trying to get wisdom out of beginning with yourself, what you think, not trusting in God, but trusting in yourself. Don't trust in yourself, man. Trust in God. That's how you find new life. That's how you find real life. Really, but, yeah. Yep. Right, well, it's been a good minute out here, but um, yeah, it was. It was nice meeting you, though. Yeah, it was good to talk to you, man. You I, I, what was that? You too, man. Uh, yeah, I, I gotta warn you, it's it's not it's not a good day right now when you're continuing in rebellion against God. You can go on your merry way and have and be at peace with your sin, but don't be at peace with it, man. I'll be I'll be praying that God convicts you and that He fills you with the Holy Spirit and he opens your eyes because because that's what needs to happen thanks for talking to us yeah Bob. yeah nice yeah you. what's your name again Matt Matt what's your name Jesus Jesus nice to meet you. Jesus <laughs> yeah I Jesus, lot, Jesus yeah. is your Savior man yeah. if you trust in him yeah. if you re reject your sin and you're s trusting in yourself have a good day Matt okay you too